All right, we're going to convert some angles to an old system called degrees, minutes, and seconds. And we're going to be going from our basic uh, decimal degree system to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, we're not going to talk radians yet. That's coming up later, but degrees, minutes, and seconds. So how do you convert that to degrees, minutes, and seconds? Well, uh, I don't want to get too much into this now, but tomorrow you will see that an angle that opens up this way is considered to be positive. So that would be maybe 60 degrees. An angle that opens down like this is considered to be negative. So maybe this is negative 30 degrees there. Okay, so it depends on which way this angle opens up, uh, whether it's counterclockwise, which is considered to be positive, or clockwise, which is considered to be negative, which is very backwards, but that's the way it is. But to convert this to degrees, minutes, and seconds, here's what you do. You take the negative 16, and then you're going to add to that 0.75. So you take the decimal, and you're going to multiply it. I'll put this in parentheses. You're going to multiply this by the number of seconds in a minute. Okay, so you're going to multiply this by 60. So we're going to take our calculator and type in 0.75 times 60. And if you do that, I've already done that for us, you're going to get 45. And what you do is instead of uh, adding this together, this is going to be 45 minutes. So this is going to be negative 16 degrees, 45 minutes. And if you have one little mark here, that's considered to be minutes. If you have two marks like that, that's considered to be seconds. But I'll get rid of that because it's 45 minutes. And remember, we multiplied this by the number of um, uh, the number of minutes there are in an hour in an hour. So that's what that was. Now on this one, Watch what happens and what's different on this, and this is the, what, what people get confused on. We'll take our 27. It's going to be 27 degrees. And then we're going to take and take our point four four six five and multiply that by 60. And when we do that, you are going to get 27.9. Now, you'll notice here I didn't get a decimal. Okay, I did not get a decimal here. If you do get a decimal of like the 0.9, well, then you got another problem to do. So, so far, this answer is going to be 27 degrees, and this, let me do this in a different color, this right here is going to be um, the number of minutes, so that's going to be 27 minutes, and then we're going to take this 0.9, and multiply it by the number of seconds in a minute. So we're going to multiply it by 60, and when you do that, you will get 54. Okay? So if you have a decimal left over, like that, when you do this, remember, here we did not, but if you have a decimal left over, you multiply it by, by 60 again, not 0.60, that's times 60, and you will get 54, and that will be 54 seconds. So 27 degrees, 27 minutes, 54 seconds would be the answer to that. Now, let me pause this, and I'll set another problem up. Coming back. All right, now, <clears throat> we have, make sure I'm recording. Yep. Okay, so we have another problem. We're going to convert this to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So we're going to have 15, and we're going to take our, put it in parentheses, I think that's a good thing, 0.735. And we're going to multiply that by 60. Okay, and when you do that, you're going to get 44.1. So that equals, that right there equals 44.1. So if this is our answer blank, we'll have 15 degrees, 44 minutes. Remember, one tick mark for minutes. And then what do we do? Well, we'll take our 0.1, I'll do another problem, the leftover decimal here, times... 60 again. And when we take 0.1 times 60, that equals 6. So that is 6 seconds. So converting from degrees, minutes, and seconds is just like that. So if you need to watch that again, which you probably will, go back and watch it again. Now, let's go the other way. Let's convert from degrees, minutes, and seconds 
and uh, do a problem that way. All right, so let's say we had 23 degrees, 14 minutes, and 30 seconds. Well, to do this problem, it kind of, it definitely takes a calculator. Um, but the 23 is, let's say this is our answer blank. So we'll have 23 degrees. That's definitely going to be, you know, so we're, remember, we're going to decimals here. So it's going to be 23 point something. Now, what you do is you're going to add to this 14 divided by 60. Okay. And then we're going to add to that 30 divided by 3,600. Okay. So this is, if you have me for, for physics, you know that that's the number of what? Anybody know? Seconds in an hour. It's all coming together. And this is the number of uh, minutes in an hour. So when you do this, you're going to have two big decimals, and you just have to flop them together. And it says round it to the nearest ten, uh, thousandth. So let's see here. We will go 14. Let me just do this. Time, divided by 60, which is point. This is 0.23 repeating like that, so we'll know to do that. And then 30 divided by 3600 is 0 0.0833 repeating. Just threes are repeating. So we know that we shouldn't ever round up here. We should always round our answer. So when you put this together, just take the point O. Actually, I'm sorry, there's two zeros here. It's 0 0.00833. So take that and add to it 0.2333 and just put a bunch of threes in there and hit enter. And you will see that it's uh, point, this here equals 0.2416 repeating. And if we have to round this to the nearest thousandth, it would be 242. 242. So let's try another one. Let's try another one. So what happens, let's get this off here. What happens when you don't have seconds in it? Let's say you just have, mm, the book doesn't give us any of those, do they? No. Well, let's do another one. Like This is number 25 of tonight's homework. Okay, hold up here. 14 degrees, 5 minutes, 20 seconds. So if we have to do this, just remember, it's 14 plus 5 divided by what? 60 plus 20 divided by 3600. And you would just convert those fractions to decimals and add them all up, and you should get something like 14.089 after you round it. Give it a try. I'll talk to you later.